Okay, so I'm here with the Hatter, obviously. Yes. Your costume is amazing. Why, thank you. Now, is this something that you came up with yourself? Yes, we made it. You made it? Um, now, your makeup and stuff, did you do that yourself? Um, yes, but my lovely assistant, my sister, helped me. You did a lovely job, ladies. Come, come, come here, let me talk to you. So, obviously, we're going for a Alice in Wonderland theme here. And you ladies look amazing as well with your costumes. Now, are, did you guys make these yourselves? I made all of this and all of this. We bought this. All right, so tell me a little bit about the construction of making these costumes. That's, obviously, you probably watched the movie like a hundred times to get it down because yes. it looks perfect. Oh, well, thank you. Yeah, I watch the movies and look at a lot of photos. And um, yeah, do a lot of research before we make these. Now, is it something that you do for a hobby, or are you yeah. trying to do this for a living? Or because no, you no. obviously could. I mean, <laughs> no, just for a hobby. Somebody needs to get this girl into Hollywood. <laughs> Stat. <laughs> well, the makeup's fantastic. The costumes look amazing. So, tell me a little bit about your day here at Comic Con. Did you guys uh, see any panels? Did you um, get to see any celebrities? Um, we been to a lot of the panels in Hall H today. We spent a good half of the day camped out in Hall H. We ran into Morgan Spurlock today, which was really cool because we were in his book and movie last year, so we got him to sign the book, which was really cool. That's awesome. So, um, a big part of Comic-Con I've noticed, because this is my only, my second one, I went to Philadelphia, and this is my first San Diego one, I noticed that there is a lot of lines to yeah. wait in, and you mentioned that you had to wait in line. How long did you have to wait for? We didn't wait very long today. We kind of skipped all the long lines and just went for the short ones. They lucked out. Awesome. Okay, so we uh, just left the Spider-Man panel not that long ago, and we couldn't help but notice you in line because of your amazing costume. Can you tell me a little bit about your experience? Did you get to ask a question? Uh, yes, I asked um, the whole cast about costuming, obviously. Uh, hi, everybody. Um, I was just wondering, um, well, first off, and I'm digging the bangs. <laughs> bangs. Um, well, I was wondering why you made the slight changes to the Spidey costume, like the tennis shoe bottoms and the like different arms and yeah. Because as you can tell, I'm kind of a costume freak. <laughs> no. <laughs> and um, I complimented Emma Stone's hair. She's adorable, isn't she? Oh yes. She's just as cute as person as she is on film. Yeah. We love her. So, so did you get your question answered? Um, yes. Um. That, you know, I think we have to, um, we looked a little bit more at the ultimates in terms of how, like, in terms of body type and some of those suit uh, uh, ideas. And there's also this idea of, like, how does a kid make a suit? You know what I mean? Like, it's natural one would use those kind of elements in it. And, and, and uh, we wanted to create a, a, a body type. You know, Andrew's a, a Incredibly fit young man, but he is he's skinny, you know, and we wanted to use that sort of uh, man, live body type and that was that was it, that the suit sort of emerged from that uh, notion. Because how great is it seeing a skinny guy beating the crap out of big guys? <laughs> they realized it'd just be easier for a boy to make something kind of sloppy than a professional looking Spider-Man costume. All it does them. make sense. It does tie very much into the, the storyline that way. It makes more sense, but that's a great question. I would have never came up with that, and I, I'm supposed to do this. <laughs> All right, thanks so much, guys. Enjoy the rest of your time. Welcome back to Comic Vibe. I'm James Flames. Gina G. Gina. Rogue. Rogue. Gina G, Rogue. Rogue Gina? Yeah, Rogue G. The, yeah, Rogue G. Yeah, Rogue, Rogue G. G. Rogue G. There you go. Right. You got a new nickname. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> See, that's how creative we are with that original, that Ooh, quickly. Right on the spot. <laughs> that quickly. So let's tell them a little bit about some of the things going on, some of the panels. Okay. What did you see? Um, I saw the New 52 panel, which is all about the new DC relaunch of the DC Universe. And it was great. That was um, that had Dan DiDio and Jim Lee and um, the, co the executive editor of DC. And it was just great. They showed us some final, uh, final, sketch, final uh, art 
from the new Action Comics and Justice League. And it just looks great. And they talked about costumes and just why they're doing the relaunch of the of DC. And it's just, it's going to be really great. It's going to be a good way to bring in new fans and old fans that are confused because the continuity has just been like so crazy over the last, since their last relaunch that um, it's going to be really great. I'm really excited for it. Yeah. And I mean, the, these panels are so informational yeah. for the fans. There's so many of them here yeah. that whatever your interest is, you can pretty much get it fed. You can feed your inner beast. Yeah, <laughs> you absolutely. Can feed your inner beast. With everything, anything you want. I mean, it's great. Mm -hmm. And the New 52 panel has been every single day of the con. They're having it every day at the same time in the same room so that, you know, if you miss it or if it's at the same time as another panel as it was for Walking Dead, you know, you can go see it another day. And that's just, I mean, they love the fans because that's, you know, what makes them who they are, really. Yeah. They wouldn't be doing what they are if it wasn't for us, so. Yeah, I mean, it's 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 crazy. Uh, I checked out Hall H. Mm -hmm. I saw Steven Spielberg. Oh, uh, so how was that? That was the, the 10 10 panel. Yeah. It was awesome. It was just awesome. I first saw the trailer a week before Comic Con. Okay. And I said, wow, this looks really interesting. Yeah. You know, you know, it's you know the Avatar mm -hmm. thing. And I was like, wow. Yeah, yeah the CG. I was like, wow, this is this looks really cool. Then I found out Steven Spielberg did it, and I said, oh, <laughs> this thing's oh, gonna why. this thing's gonna be good. <laughs> then we come here and it wasn't announced till a week before that he was even gonna be here. Yeah, it wasn't. They said maybe, but I mean, and then he came and it's the first time I think he's come to a Comic Con right. and that's just awesome yeah. for <laughs> and, and the surprise guest of Peter Jackson oh, showing up. Really? Lord of the Rings. I didn't even know that. Yeah, Peter Jackson was there. Oh my there. gosh. Sorry to include you in there, Jeez, Gina. Thanks. She, she should have been in the panel. You see, what, see that when you missed the panel? Yeah. See that when you missed Peter Jackson. And, he, and what was so cool is that you could see Steven Spielberg and Peter Jackson sitting there talking to each other mm -hmm. uh, you know, about their project and how they're working together. And all you can say was, wow, these are two big Hollywood powerhouses mm -hmm. just sitting there talking to each other. And Steven Spielberg, he, he talked about Tintin, and they showed the trailer, and it just looked so awesome. It looked so awesome. And then, of course, obviously the fans were asking about future projects. Oh, and that's what I love. I love the Q&A, because not only do they have um, you know, a host, an MC, asking them questions at first, and they talk about the project, but then the fans can come up and ask you know, whatever they want. Of course, they ask you, you know, don't make it personal. Don't ask them what their favorite superhero is. Right. Make them real questions. Right. But people will boo you if it's not a good question. So mm -hmm. I love that. Yeah. I love that they can ask questions and talk to the fans. And love it, personal. Yeah. Spielberg gave us some news about, somebody asked about Jurassic Park. Oh yeah, what before. did he say about that? He said that they have a story, it's in place, and hopefully in about two years or so. Which is that, no time at all. Yeah, which is no time at all that the fans can see Jurassic Park 4, which is just awesome. That's crazy. This is just awesome. Jurassic Park 3 came out in 2001, so it's mm -hmm. been 10 years since the yeah. last Jurassic Park movie. And I mean, I think it'll be good. I think it'll be a good way to get, you know, people got kind of tired of after 3, they were like, okay, we've seen dinosaurs, we're over the dinosaur craze. But I think now it's going to be, you know, 10, 12 years later, I think he's going to have a whole new fan base and then the old fans are going to come back. And I think it's going to be it's awesome news to hear that yeah. Jurassic Park 4. <laughs> Lord of the Rings, um, they asked Peter Jackson about The Hobbit. The Hobbit. They asked him about it. He said, you know, they're working hard on it and uh, it should be another one. And, and it was cool to hear Steven Spielberg just give, you know, Peter Jackson his praise because it's like, wow, you get two industry, industry titans, yeah. you know, complimenting each other, you know, saying what they wish they would have done versus you know, what they would have done if that person had done it. So it, it, was, it yeah. was just, it was interesting and fascinating to hear them sometimes just have a conversation within themselves. Yeah, and that reminds me of the New 52 panel. You know, they were talking about how they came up with the idea to relaunch and they basically got like their top 23 writers, they put them in a room and they were like, our sales are diminishing. They're not getting any better. We're losing fans. What can we do to help, you know, with sales and with the readers and fans? and. They, you know, thought of the idea, they pitched it to the, you know, head honcho and they were like, eh, I don't know about that, we can't really relaunch. But they are, and they're like, you know, they sat down and they sat down with each character, they created graphs, and they were like, what do we love about the characters, what do we want to get out of these characters, you know, what are we going to lose, and that's how they're creating it, with Lois and Clark, they said Lois and Clark, that's what we love about Superman, but it's become, you know, dry, and they're together, and the Clark thing is over, and so what are we going to do with that? So they're just starting over. He's not even going to know Lois yet. You know, he's coming in Superman with jeans on, jeans and a Superman t-shirt, and he's just going to evolve again. And we're going to get to 
like grow with him and find out his new superpowers. He's not even gonna fly at first. He's gonna just be able to jump really far. So it's really great. It's really, yeah, it's great how they were just talking to each other, Jim Lee and Dan DeVito, and they were just like rehashing how they like figured out what they were gonna do and they were blaming each other. Well, who thought of Lois and Clark? And who, it was just, it was great, it was great. Yeah, and it, it's, it's like I said, it's so interesting to see them have a conversation with themselves. Yeah. And, and let you in their, their mind a little bit. Yeah, and they laugh yeah. and <laughs> yeah. when they were showing us the panels that they drew, it was a couple Batman panels, Jim Lee was like making sound effects for it. It was so funny because they're just real people and yeah. they're doing, and like one of the panels had helicopters and he was like, do, 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 do. Like, <laughs> Why you draw we like, yeah, because there was no, you know, there's no words on it yet. So, yeah. but he was trying not to give away anything, you know, like the, the villain that they showed, we have no idea who he is. So it's just so exciting. It's so exciting that we get all these exclusives from being here and we get to see them in person and be themselves with each other, with their friends and fellow coworkers. It's really great. Yeah, so all that is just exciting. It's just just phenomenal to just hear them just talk, draw, get in the inner circle of their minds. Another panel that was just awesome, that mm. everybody was waiting for, the end of the day of Friday, Spider-Man. Spider-Man, the amazing Spider-Man. Spider-Man. Spider it's so exciting because we had we saw the Tobey Maguire movies. Right. And we, and we love Tobey Maguire. And we love Tobey Maguire. I thought he was great, Peter Parker. You saw, and I was very disappointed that they were going to go a different route. I know. With Tobey not being involved in the same people mm -hmm. and Franco and the whole thing. I was like, no, you can't start this over yet. <laughs> you can't start it over yet. You haven't finished. Yeah. <laughs> However, we saw a trailer yesterday. Yeah. Looks good. <laughs> it looks great. Speechless. I know. It's amazing. Speechless. It's it, just amazing. And I didn't know Emma Stone. I know. Was Emma be Stone is in Gwen it. Stacy. I did not know that. Love Gwen Stacy. Emma Stone is a blonde. Love Emma Stone. I mean, it's gonna be it's gonna be great with Peter Parker. I really like the Peter Parker Gwen Stacy story. They don't really get into it a lot with and you know, everyone thinks Mary Jane, Mary Jane, but you know, like my boyfriend, he wants me to go blonde. He loves Gwen Stacy. He's like, why don't you <laughs> wear a black headband today and a green jacket? I'm like, wait a second. Yeah, like, wait a second here. I'm not going we're not blonde, going, I'm right, sorry. We're not going comic here, no okay? Offense. Okay, I'm not gonna be coming somebody else for you, all yeah. right? But I mean, yeah, Emma Stone's gonna do a great job. Andrew Garfield as the new Spider-Man. I mean, Andrew Garfield, love him, you know, yeah. social network, he, he's just great. And he, he looks like a great Peter Parker. I mean, I love him with the glasses and the tousled hair. He's gonna be good. Yeah, I don't like when they change characters, but no, yeah. I think he's gonna do an awesome job. Yeah, I think he's gonna do a really good job. And um, it's kooky, it's Spider-Man, but this dark looks, I mean, it looks good. Yeah. It looks like he's really getting into the heart of it and the villain, the lizard, I mean, I pl played by Reese Imes, who I love. I mean, he just finished up Harry Potter and, you know, he was from the Notting Hill for my girls. And he's just great. He's going to be good. He came out, he surprised us. We didn't even know he was going to be at the thing. And he just like came out after they showed his scene a little bit. And it's a great cast. Yeah. It's really be a great director, Mark Webb. It's, it's just gonna be good. Yeah, you can already just tell the chemistry that they have. They were, yeah. you know, they look fun on stage. Mm -hmm. they, you know, they look happy to see each other. Yeah, they were interacting and well. Yeah, Andrew Garfield were just laughing the whole time. And, and they're just exactly how you would imagine in yeah. person. <laughs> it's so funny. And exactly. Down to earth, that's the thing. They're mm -hmm. so down to earth, it's great. And don't worry, we'll show you a little bit of yeah, it. Yeah, you'll we'll, see. We'll, we'll show you a little bit of it. We'll give you a, we'll give you a peek of the Spider-Man panel. <laughs> Although you, you can't see the trailer or anything because that's why you come to Comic Con. So yeah. you can see those exclusives. Exactly. You can't see everything, America. <laughs> that's why you gotta get that ticket. Oh, and it was those... great. I love that they have it was in 3D. Yes, and they it like was in gave 3D. us 3D glasses when we walk in the door and we're like, what? And it's all in 3D, which is awesome. That's totally, you know, sign of the times yeah. changing. Yeah. Everything's 3D now, even at Comic Con. <laughs> exactly. And before we go, some other panels that were very good that people checked out was uh, Ghost Rider, Nicolas Cage was here, yeah. um, Colin Farrell was here, Total Recall. Total Recall, yeah, Total Kat Recall. Bacon, Be Beckinsale was Beckinsale here. Beckinsale was here. With a very short dress, very yeah. revealing. There was a Twilight panel. Oh gosh. You were there checking out that. that you know, we, know you, we know how you love Twilight. Yeah. <laughs> you love Twilight. <laughs> Twilight panel. And, uh, and today, um, Kristen Stewart, Charlie mm. Theron is going to be there yeah. for um, Huntsman. Snow White. Uh, yes, Snow, Snow White and, and the Huntsman. Huntsman. They're yeah. going to be there. So. And we have Nights of Badassdom. It's going to be great. It's yeah. going to be good. 
Uh, you know, we missed Walking Dead, Game of Thrones. I mean, the lines are just so ridiculous. Walking Dead had 9,000 people in line. Just, yeah. I don't think they saw it, but they were in line for it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's just, it's, it's exactly. awesome. <laughs> exactly, exactly. We'll come back, we'll show you some more stuff about everything that is Comic-Con. Stick around. Yeah, yeah.